I'm an undocumented immigrant from Nigeria. I'm an undocumented immigrant from Brazil. I'm an undocumented immigrant from Germany. From Mexico. From Peru. From Brazil. From Israel. From Armenia. From, from Mexico. In some states, students who are not legal citizens have to pay out-of-state tuition even if they are attending a college in the state they grew up in. They are also usually not granted any financial aid to help pay for their education. This graph shows that families of undocumented immigrants have low income, so paying for college is clearly difficult. Currently, 12 states offer these students benefits such as financial aid under certain circumstances. These circumstances are part of the DREAM Act and are listed here. Basically, the DREAM Act would keep non-citizen students from being deported and would help them get the college education. As with every issue, there are people for... ...and allow a generation of immigrant students with great potential and ambition to contribute more to America. And again... It's an incentive for illegal aliens to continue manipulating and abusing the system, and there's no sunset in it. ...helping non-citizen students. I definitely find myself agreeing more with the people who are supportive of helping the students being able to pay the same in-state tuition as their peers. I believe that undocumented students should not have to pay out-of-state tuition when they are attending a college in the state they grew up in because there are many points that proponents for helping these students make that I agree with. And let's stop expelling talented, responsible young people who could be staffing our research labs or starting a new business who could be further enriching this nation. Argued that these undocumented students are taking away college admission spots, but facts show that less than 2% of students graduating are undocumented, therefore they are really not competition. Another argument is that the students are here illegally and helping them out would be helping a lawbreaker, but the fact is they were brought here by their parents and this is the only home they know, and tearing them away from it would be wrong. All of my friends are here, my family is here, all of the meaningful connections, experiences that I've had have been in the United States that an easy solution would be for the young adults to just apply for U.S. citizenship. However, the cost to do this is over $500, and as previously mentioned, these students generally come from low-income families. Yet another argument made when opposing in-state tuition for undocumented immigrants is that their families don't pay taxes. Well, they actually do, and they do so without receiving any tax benefits that legal citizens do. Being recognized as an American because I feel already am that, it's important uh, to be able to feel whole, to be able to feel realized, and to be able to do the things that I've been wanting uh, to do for a very long time. I would like to make the argument that everyone living in the United States, legally or not, should be given a fair opportunity to obtain higher education. I don't think the youth who are brought here by their parents should be punished by not being able to pay in-state college tuition. By making them pay out of state, they have to pay thousands more than other students living in the states legally. I guess I just don't see the justice in that. I don't know why immigrants are treated differently, but I like to see everyone given the same chances for education and jobs and perhaps even a happier life here in the United States. One last point about education. Today, there are hundreds of thousands of students excelling in our schools who are not American citizens. Some are the children of undocumented workers who had nothing to do with the actions of their parents. They grew up as Americans and pledge allegiance to our flag, and yet they live every day with the threat of deportation. Others come here from abroad to study in our colleges and universities. But as soon as they obtain advanced degrees, we send them back home to compete against us. It makes no sense.